Malcolm X, born Malcolm Little in 1925, was a towering figure in the struggle for civil rights and black empowerment. Raised amidst the storm of racial oppression, Malcolm's early years were marked by tragedy and hardship. His father's activism made the family a target of white supremacist violence, leading to Earl Little's mysterious death when Malcolm was just a child. Separated from his siblings after his mother's mental breakdown, Malcolm found himself adrift in a world that seemed determined to crush his spirit. Welcome to Learning from the Masters. I am Obehi Ewafo, author of the Storytelling Mastery, a five-part book series that takes you by the hands through the journey of storytelling. This series is dedicated to some of the greatest masters out there who have done their best and have left behind their masterpieces for us to learn from while refining our own skills. To learn more, join our Storytelling Mastery for Businesses at academy.aclasses.org slash storytelling mastery. You can also pick up any of the five books on aclasses.org or any other place you prefer online. Now back to the presentation. Yet, guided by his sister Ella's example, he found strength in the face of adversity. Boston's streets offered both refugee and temptation. Seduced by the allure of fast money, Malcolm briefly embraced a life of crime before finding himself incarcerated. It was in prison that Malcolm underwent a profound transformation, fueled by a voracious appetite for knowledge and the teachings of the Nation of Islam. Emerging as Malcolm X, he became a passionate advocate for black pride and self-determination. His fiery rhetoric and unwavering conviction galvanized a generation. Who taught you to hate the texture of your hair? Who taught you to hate the color of your skin to such extent that you bleach to get like the white man? Who taught you to hate the shape of your nose and the shape of your lips? Who taught you to hate yourself from the top of your head to the soles of your feet? Who taught you to hate your own kind? propelling the nation of Islam to new heights of influence. Yet Malcolm's journey was marked by turmoil. Disillusioned by revelations of his mentor's transgressions, he embarked on a pilgrimage to Mecca, where he experienced a spiritual awakening. Embracing the universal brotherhood of Islam, Malcolm shed the shackles of hate and embraced the redemptive power of love. Tragically, Malcolm's life was cut short by assassin's bullets in 1965, but his legacy endures as a beacon of hope and inspiration. Today, his words continue to resonate, reminding us that the struggle for justice and equality is far from over. In Malcolm X's courage and conviction, we find the strength to carry on the fight for a better world. <laughs>